Hi Saj, welcome back in Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising Venus Sun Jupiter. Let's see guys what is coming up for you. Reverse the rules if needed, switch the cases, do not force the reading on your situation, right? Sagittarius, <clears throat> let's quickly see what you need to hear, what's coming up for you and yeah, <laughs> let's dive in. By the way, we have full moon in Sag. Wow, it's going to be significant in the next video. I'll take out some time to tell you about how new moon is significant for Sagittarians, especially when it is in Sag area. But let's first dive in, right? Let's first dive in. Let's see what's coming up for you. Poised, yeah. It's giving me a beautiful feeling. Full moon in Sag. Did I say new moon? No, I did not. Okay. Poised, you're feeling accomplished. You're feeling happy. You're feeling blessed. There's something to clean up. Sag. For some of you, it's like you're almost there. You're almost there. You're setting yourself free from something. You're ready to take off and you're flying. This is giving you more like a blessed energy, an energy where you just want to jump off the cliff and explore what's out there for you, right? It's, it's a feeling of ascension, technically, if I tell you. That's the feeling I'm getting after I look at this card. But there's something that you're dealing with in your surroundings, which is yet to be released which is required to be cleaned up your surroundings are required to be cleaned up right i think in your previous reading i got a message for some of you that you guys are sorting up your circles right you're cutting short your um social circles you're, you're decluttering things right that's the similar vibe here but it's way different it's way different with poised card it's day it's way different sag I'm getting a beautiful vibe that you guys are definitely cleaning something up for some of you you might be spending more time in cleaning the house you know sag full moon full moon days are days of cleansing it's like the moon is closest to the earth it's huge <laughs> and it attracts all the emotions out of you and you know and then you guys feel like i've usually seen that people feel like cleaning their houses, getting the aura cleansed, getting their crystals charged and getting themselves charged in the new in the full moon, I'm sorry. It's bright, it's beautiful and it's time to clean up some things. All the redundant things from your life sad, it's time to let it go. Cool. Wonderful vibe, amazing, right? Feeling very fresh and light here. Moving forward, let's see what Tarot has to say. Sagittarius tower ooh now this is something you have to declutter honey yeah okay now tower moments especially the major arcanas like this which show drastic huge changes i see you guys are going through it right now right for some of you this has already happened right and this is that piece after the storm isn't it funny ash it's usually before the storm no something has been done right it's like tower moments and wheel of fortune and all the, these major cards which depict massive transformation and changes they show that things are not going to be the same after that right why we call them drastic why we call them huge is because things are not going to be same it's like the course of events that are going to take place now are going to be totally different than what you thought and after this tower moment, you are at that stage where you're like, okay, I need to fucking plan everything again. Because this was something unexpected. This was something really I did not see coming. And now I will have to change my ideas, my plans, my investments. I'm a little exhausted though. But again, I will have to do things differently. That's the seven of pentacles energy. You're standing near the debris. You're looking at the foundation break down because that was unhealthy. And you always knew that. For some of you, this tower moment is coming from the place of somebody's decision. Somebody's decision surrounding finances. Somebody's decision surrounding new start in their life. Or maybe somebody's, for some of you, somebody's deciding to look in the different direction. Then the opportunity lies. And somebody's really resistive, they're skeptical, they're not accepting the opportunities or something like that. And their decision is like a tower moment. And now you're waiting, you're waiting. For some of you, it's like somebody is deciding not to offer something or not to accept some offer. And that's like a tower moment for you. And now you're standing near the debris and you're like, I need to clean this shit up. You know, for some of you, 
emperor shows me that it's actually bringing stability in you this thing is making you more stable from within you're going to be more strong within and you're realizing it already you know it might be you know it might be shaky for a moment but when you stand and analyze the debris and you realize what shit it was you're like okay now i need to clean it up it, it's all nonsense and then you come into your power you realize you're much stronger than this energy your foundation is far more strong you know and this is all probably happening because of somebody else's decision but you're standing strong here amazing energy here sad i'm getting a beautiful vibe that whatever this is this is helping you come into your power unchallengeable power right this is sometimes stuck in your ways i do see devil in the seven of swords energy both coming out in reversed there can be some massive changes though ending the toxicity right anybody who was a runner anybody who was a sneaker anybody who was just avoiding the conversation toxicity was there it's coming to an end five of swords my god i see a different kind of you coming out of this sag a different kind of you coming out of this energy it's like new you welcome the new me right and that is because you have stood there you have seen the things falling in front of your eyes and you have no idea how strong you're coming out five of swords the distrust three of wands the turning away of inner from that energy and seven of cups feeling confused now for some of you you know it's like you're convinced that this is not my place this is not where i have to be and the situation that is happening it's over death shows me that it's transformative for you too and the outside energies too if you were dealing with somebody specific or whatever this was i see it's a transformative experience for the other person too right death and knight of wands is showing me that i see this person is just going out to explore other things if you were dealing with somebody you were waiting for somebody to offer you something financially they want more resumes they want more profiles they want to see more things explore what's out there for them right yeah yeah they're they're going here and there right they're going in circles i don't i do see contracts here though but whatever somebody might be stuck but whatever it is i don't really see that this is your place anymore you're turning away for some time you're like okay i need to see <clears throat> i just need to turn away from this energy no matter there will be people who are never going to satisfy and always your decision your decisions in life cannot satisfy everybody every time right you have to be selective sometimes and i think that is what you're doing here three of wands turning away from it entirely waiting for something better some new opportunity sun to rise a new pinnacle to come in or something like that build something in a different way and seven of cups i do see you having options now that's going to be a confusing phase honestly this week you might find yourself in a little confusion is it going to be a good investment should i pick this one or simply that is appearing better and safe little less risky what are you going to pick let's see let's move forward sanj oh my god so from 10 7 to 10 it's it's beautiful here you take the leap of faith and here you are wow sanj so if you are a sag male you guys exactly know what you want and you're jumping towards your happiness towards the end of this week and if you are a sag female honey you appearing so good a feeling that i don't have anything to lose i'm ready for this new thing and you remember in the beginning when i saw the poised card i felt that somehow fool needs to come out this energy is resonating with the fool vibe and here the fool energy is now to reach this amazing energy you have to go through this because come on this is not a cakewalk you know i see from 7 to 10 it's a beautiful and upliftment happening in your energies this week right it's going to take some time there's going to be a moment when you'll be confused because you're turning away from some things important that used to be important for you but again as i said tower moment is a drastic change tower moment is a point where you cannot predict things or things don't go according to the the plan you had earlier right so that's the time of moment that's the signifier here ten of cups you're moving towards your happiness for some of you, you might be traveling to your see your family family spending some time if you have some time in between some free time you might be going to visit your family spending time with your loved ones maybe going back to your kids or people or just having fun for some time 
And the moment you come back, you're like, I'm free. I'm taking the leap of faith in my life. You guys are really taking some leap of faith here, honey. And you know what? Somebody's watching you. This person has a crazy crush on you. For some of you, it can be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, like you in your surroundings. This person can see you free. For some of you, I feel... If you're, if you're jumping away from somebody, now again, there's a note. If you're jumping away from somebody towards your family, happiness and things, this person is going crazy. Because I can see that angry feast in this person's um, in this card. And for the rest of you, it's like you're giving this person a flower, a white flower. Honey, let's make peace. And I'm going to Tabai. So that's going to be a very irritating moment for this person because they're crazy attracted to you, right? For some of you, it's like I see you ignoring somebody <laughs> and that's going to piss somebody off. Your ignorance can piss somebody off, Sad. Really, if you're avoiding somebody this week, this person is going to be pissed off. King of Cups. For some of you, you've, you're breaking up with a water sign, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. It's too direct, Dash, please. I know, dear, but that's what I heard, right? Or for some of you, some water sign is unexpectedly appearing in the scenes. This past energy. For some of you, somebody from the past is unexpectedly coming in or simply it's you breaking up. And now you're standing like, what the fuck? What did just happen? Okay. This can be anything. Like some, some tower moment surrounding this Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Or this is something making you emotional. That's it, you know? Uh, Ash, don't be so direct. What is confusing here? Emperor. Okay, for some of you, it's like your own ways are confusing sometimes, Sag. You made the decision, you're coming into power, you are taking the charge of the situation, but now what next? I can't go back. Sometimes that ego, that sometimes some situations really boost our ego and we're like, what the fuck? What, what, are, we, what are we going to do now? We cannot go back. I've already turned the back over the situation. Just calm down, okay, honey? Just calm down. Because sometimes you might find yourself at a place where you cannot see the direction. But if you can't see the direction, there are clouds. That doesn't mean it's not there. Let the clouds settle down for some time. Right? Don't be in so much hurry. So you're taking a leap of faith. Let me see what is this decision. Knight of Swords. Yeah, I see you in hurry. I see you in hurry. You're jumping off and you're making this very clear. Oh, if somebody is coming back to tell you that they regret, ah, oh, two of swords, and you're going to be in a soup then. For some of you, it's like if you're turning away from somebody, this person is passionate about you. This can be the same water sign we're talking about or the fire sign. If you are ignoring somebody, they're finding you, they're coming behind you. Five of cups, it's like clean it up energy. They're, they're really <clears throat> not happy. Somebody is regretting and they might reach out to you this week. Sag, if you are thinking that whether this person is fine or not. But you know what? I see you finding your happiness. You're really happy. With or without them, I don't know. But you're really happy. And Two of Swords is showing me that this person is going to be feeling very mad choked. Seven of Pentacles, they're waiting for you now. They're hermit. Oh my God, they're so obsessed. I see this person somehow got consumed in pride. They're fucking regretting it. Hermit, Seven of Pentacles, yeah. And they're going to wait. They're going to wait here, I feel. <coughs> six, six of Wands here too. Two of Swords, you are taking the leap of faith with the Fool. And Two of, two of Swords for them, I think they're going to be in a suit. They're going to be confused. They're blocking themselves. They feel directionless. And this person is really regretting things here. Sag, they're really regretting things here. Okay, what... Sag needs to hear what Sag needs to hear. Sag, King of Swords, my God. Something is... There are three kings on the table, by the way. So if you're Sag female, honey, what are you doing? Intelligent, impartial, respected and stoic. Somebody might be... This can be somebody in your surroundings who's making very, very unemotional decisions. That's rude. That's rude. Receiving wise advice, remain objective and fair-minded. Public speaking, communicate clearly unemotional relationships and being emotionally unavailable okay five of cups somebody is going to regret their decision big time but i don't know if you have already left the building or not focusing on the negative things are turning out of the way you anticipated okay things are not turning the way you anticipated and that's the tower moment we discussed forgiveness for self and others Everything happens for a reason. Look for the hidden blessings. So can you see that? 
Sag, something here, for a lot of you, I see this is somebody else. You are sitting in this position. You are really tough, honey. You're really tough. Whatever decision you're taking, I see it's the fool. You are just making up your mind and jumping. Now, what other people think, I don't really see. It's your matter to think, isn't it? <laughs> If you will think what other people are thinking, then what will other people think, isn't it? So, Sag, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's quickly see what messages come through for you, and then we're going to wind up the reading. Sag, just to complete the messages, what Sag needs to hear. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. For some of you, some tower moments that have recently happened or some unexpected shifts that have taken place in your life are really putting you in a soup, what next? That's the Seven of Cups energy. But Divine is telling you to stay optimistic, right? You're poised, you're blessed. Where it's waiting for? Divine timing is at work in your love life. Wow, that's an interesting message. For some of you, there are if there are two or three options available, Sad. Honestly, you guys are hot, you guys are passionate and fiery. I have no doubts that there will be multiple people having crush on you, right? If you have that way in your surroundings, there can be an emperor Aries also though. Now, you have to make a choice. Be happy and make the choice. You're blessed. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive and that's the six of wands energy. If you're turning somebody down and uh, it's like somebody did hurt you in past, and now they're trying to come back to you love yourself first don't uh, for some of you it's like if somebody's walking out show them the door right don't try to stop them that's going to make you feel even more romantically and uh, more romantically attractive because don't try to chase anybody right somebody might be trying you to make them chase you what did i say make you chase them i'm sorry don't do that <laughs> new love oh my god i told you the new person has stirred up your romantic feelings now i don't know it's a fire sign it's a water sign i don't really see it's a water sign i see things are falling apart with the water sign maybe or there's a fire sign who's attracted to you but you're avoiding and then possibly there can be an air sign or an aries my god ash you have you have said all the signs on the table new love so something beautiful is coming your way and that's going to make you feel very happy sad so be bold and make the first move be bold and take the decision and jump right let your friends help you this person can be coming from your friend circle right so this is what i have for you for this week sag thank you so much guys for watching bye